Hello and welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. In this video, we're gonna be showing you the next step of our project rebuild project, where we're actually doing sound treatment to the entire floor interior of the vehicle. Now you may be thinking, why in the heck would I ever want to sound treat the floor of the car? Well, the fact of the matter is a lot of the air noise underneath the vehicle comes up into the cabin of the vehicle and by sound treating it, we can really make a massive improvement on our audio system. Now, how does that make any sense? How does making something quieter make the audio system better? Well, I'll tell you why. With the interior of our vehicle being less loud when we're driving at cruising speeds, highway speeds, our speakers don't have to work as hard in order to play the music. This means we don't have to turn up the volume quite as loud to be able to hear the music as clearly. A quiet car interior means that you can hear more of the nuances and defined details within the music. So in this video, we're gonna be pulling out the whole interior of the car. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips for the little things that I think will help with that. And we're also gonna be showing you how we apply all the sound treatment. I also wanted to let you know that I'm using Second Skin Audio products in this video and I was able to work together with those guys in order to get you a sweet promo code Yes, more savings! I know you guys love taking advantage of the savings, so be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video and I'll talk all about that. Let's get started. In order to start our interior sound ending process, we need to actually pull the interior. Before we do this, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we disconnect the negative battery terminal. This will allow us to safely disconnect wiring harnesses throughout the interior. As I remove all the different fasteners from the interior of the vehicle, I'll sort them into different plastic bins. Sometimes I'll even label these bins with a piece of temporary masking tape. Now with most vehicle interiors, I feel like the first thing you usually wanna pull out is the seats. Take note that I've temporarily used a blanket along the door sill in order to pull out the seat so that I don't scratch anything. With the seats out of the way, I'm now able to remove the center console. Next, it's usually a matter of removing the side sill pieces. In fact, we have to move anything that's actually over the top of the carpet because we're pulling the whole carpet as well. Now I think for me this is actually my third time removing the interior of this car so I'm pretty familiar with where everything is, but my biggest advice to you is take your time removing everything so you don't break anything, just carefully pull everything apart. Now as you know, the main focus of this video is actually sound deadening the floor. We've already done all the doors in other previous videos, so now that we have the floor nice and exposed, we can get started with applying the sound deadening materials. We're going to start this process by using Second Skin Audio's Damplifier Pro. Damplifier Pro is a CLD material which stands for Constraint Layer Dampener. It's the type of sound deadening material that you're most familiar with. Now Damplifier Pro has an excellent adhesive on it, but regardless we still want to make sure that we clean our surface so we're using rubbing alcohol and a lint-free rag. We simply apply the alcohol to the rag and wipe the surface clean. After we remove the protective backing, we carefully place the Damplifier Pro in position. This particular area is right where your feet sit if you're the driver. I find that focusing on this area in particular really helps to remove the air noise as you're driving down the road, but we're going to focus on the whole floor. Now I'm doing the part of the floor where the rear passenger's feet sit. We use the same process again where we carefully position, apply hand pressure, and then use a wooden roller to permanently stick it down. Here's a piece of OEM sound ending. I just remove these right away because they don't stick very good and they don't do a great job. So out it goes and it gets replaced with our piece of Damplifier Pro. Now keep in mind that you can cut the material down into smaller pieces. I know that many guys like to simply layer this stuff all over everything, but that's really not needed. I'm just simply applying it to some of the more flat areas of the vehicle. The goal of these CLD pieces is to remove panel vibration, so parts of the panel that are curved are much more structurally sound and they're not gonna vibrate as much as a flat part would. Now that we've covered reducing the panel vibrations in the floor, we're gonna turn our attention to stopping airborne noise. For this, we're gonna use Second Skin Audio's Luxury Liner product, which is a mass-loaded vinyl. We'll be covering the entire floor of the vehicle with mass-loaded vinyl, or MLV for short. Once I've positioned a piece of the MLV Luxury Liner, I use a silver sharpie in order to mark out any holes that I need to cut. The material is actually very easy to cut, I just simply use an Ulfa knife. Now you can see that I've laid it into position with the holes cut around the seat mounting brackets. I'll continue this process by basically stitching and piecing pieces together. In order to stick the pieces together effectively, I'm using this special aluminum tape. 
The product basically acts as a barrier against any airborne noise, so we want to make sure that there's no holes for that noise to come through. If we did not tape the pieces together, there's potential for the pieces shifting when we go to put the carpet back on, and we can't have that. We've stopped panel vibration and we've killed airborne noise, now we need to turn our attention to stopping any part vibrations. We'll do so by using Second Skin's Overkill product. Overkill is a closed cell foam, or CCF for short. Its primary use is to separate two physical surfaces so that they don't vibrate against one another. Here in the video, I'm using it by sandwiching it between this plastic air duct and the sheet metal of the floor of the vehicle. I've had issues with vibration noises in this area of the vehicle before, so this will help stop that. I also like to use the CCF when panels have a lot of wires behind them. Putting the CCF in position prevents the wires from vibrating against the plastic panel. Now that we've applied sound treatment to the floor of the vehicle using three different materials and methods, each for a different purpose, we can reassemble the interior and enjoy our new quiet interior. Remember that the quieter your vehicle is while in motion, the less your speakers have to work. This allows the vehicle to reproduce music more accurately without distortion from the noise of the vehicle. Now, if you remember in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that Second Skin Audio is actually offering a current promotion for car audio fabrication fans. If you want to check out the details on that, it's a pretty sweet deal. Do so by clicking the link down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it helps you understand how you can install sound treatment onto the inside interior of your vehicle floor in order to enhance your audio system. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not a car audio shop. I do this purely for the enjoyment of audio and helping everyone learn. And there's a lot of costs associated with doing all that. So I have to give a special thanks to my Patreon support group. Since the last video, a couple new guys have signed up. William, Amid, Cody, and Secondhand Pie. Thank you guys for signing up to help support this content. It really means the world to me. I also, of course, have to give a special thanks to Emmanuel, Rory, Eddie, Richard, Mark, Truman, and Jerry, along with all the other Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for helping support this content. If you want to check out how you can help support this content, be sure to do so down in the link below. If you don't have the funds to do so, that's totally cool. I'm just glad that you're here watching these videos. It makes me so happy. If you could slam that like button now, just boom, you know I'd like that too. All right guys, thanks again for watching.